guys happy wednesday is it wednesday yeah it's wednesday it's hump day it's march 6th so that means it's love is blind love is blind finale excited about that i've actually been really enjoying this season it's it's crazy i just finished rearranging my shelf so i talked about it in a previous vlog i think about yeah changing up my background so i have two different you know backgrounds so i just sort of switched up my shelf okay there perfect so anyways as i was saying i finally got around to cleaning up my shelf adding my products so now you can kind of see some of my products from daily decor in my background i'm also going to work on this corner as well which i haven't touched yet but for today it's hair we got to get the hair in order i was rocking those two cornrows since valentine's day that's when half did my two cornrows for me for my date night which i love them they're super cute but they're two cornrows like that style does not last long at all whenever i take out a set of braids it doesn't matter how long i've had them in people always ask me oh my god you took it out so soon it's like everybody has a different idea of what so soon is but for two braids i don't see how three weeks is soon like do you know what i mean it's only two braids of course they're gonna get fuzzy so i took them out twisted up my hair and i've been rocking my wig since then but here's the thing i haven't washed my hair so it's still full of gel and that's what we're gonna get together today as usual i'm slacking on the self-care i'm really not with it you guys my birthday's coming up my birthday's in two days i don't plan on celebrating i don't plan on doing anything I'm just not feeling it this year, you know? I think that's okay. Um, yeah, I plan on just spending the day pretty much praying and thanking God for allowing me to see another year on this earth. But aside from that, uh, that's it. I think that this is my quiet year. I think that's okay to have a quiet year. You can see how much gel I have in my head. Just want to pop in and say happy hump day i'll come back and show you what my hair is looking like once i'm done washing it you know what i have noticed though guys and i don't know if it's in my head my hair seems blacker like you know how when you get older your hair goes gray turns lighter turns gray my hair seems like it's doing the opposite like it seems like it's get like look how black that is i've always had black hair but like I mean, I'm not complaining, but I just found it a little odd. <sighs> okay, what a process, y'all. It's a little while later. So I washed my hair and conditioned, obviously, and blow dried it, and I did my skincare, and I showered, and buttered up, all that good stuff. So I'm feeling all nice and glowy. I'm going to put some eye patches on. Ooh, these are so nice and soothing. These are the ones from Amazon that I always link when I use them. They're so refreshing. And my eye bags have been kicking lately, as I told you guys, because, you know, life has just been lifing. So I've been using these quite often. And I need a new pair of hair shears. I haven't been cutting my hair lately because my hair shears are very damaged. Um, I've had these for years can you guys hear that like they're creaky and like just out of whack lately so I haven't been using them because um yeah they're just not up to par anymore so I'm looking I'm in the market for a new pair those I bought absolute years ago from a black owned company called the main choice back when it was still owned by Courtney Adele so if you guys know of another black owned company that sells hair shears, let me know down below because I'm definitely in the market for a new pair. Okay, I'm in my bedroom because um, I finally finished a perfume, guys. I am not a hoarder. I hate having too much stuff. So I'm one of those people who tries to finish a product before I start a new product. And I finally finished. Well, there's a little bit left, but I mean, you might as well call this finished. Like, I feel like I can finish it right now. Anyways, I finally finished my Prada Candy Kiss. 
this is not my favorite perfume i really wanted to love prada candy but it gave me a migraine so i got the prada candy kiss which is a little bit softer it doesn't have that high note that candy has that gave me a migraine so i was able to wear this no problem without getting a headache but it's just not a perfume that i super love so i was in all honesty trying to finish it because the next perfume that i will be wearing is my newest find you guys from an arab perfume house so my favorite type of perfumes pretty much the only type of perfumes i wear are gourmands so anything that smells like you can eat it vanilla coconut cotton candy butterscotch cake vanilla like that type of fragrance edible fragrances so this is um called coco musk it's an arabian perfume spray by crown perfumes if you're familiar with like era perfumes you know that they last so long so you definitely get more value for your money you guys it smells like chocolate like a chocolate musky i don't want to spray it because i just sprayed the product kiss but hold on it's like chocolate white chocolate and vanilla cake with like white musk it smells so like i want to eat this it's so good I got it on Amazon and it was so cheap. It was only like, I can't remember because I got it a while ago. If I can find the link, I'll link it down below. But um, yeah, it was cheap. It wasn't even expensive. So I'm so excited. I finally, I'm going to start wearing this perfume. I know I'm going to get so much compliments on it. Anyways, I think it's time to eat. Yesterday I cooked, so I don't think I'm going to cook tonight. I'm probably just going to have salad for dinner. This is so good. We could do that for a long haul. I'm grateful that I was able to look at myself and show man, just me and you, like, that's crazy. Okay, so I just finished the Love is Blind finale. The reunion is on March 13th, so let's talk about it. Spoiler alert for those of you who are not into Love is Blind, didn't watch it, but I have some thoughts, okay? First of all, Megan Fox, <laughs> Megan Fox, she needs therapy. Okay. She does not need love. She does not need to be on Love is Blind. She needs therapy. I'm just chopping up my stuff to make a salad, by the way. Yeah, she needs therapy. She has so much insecurity and she's just projecting a lot onto Jimmy. Jimmy, I don't have much thoughts on. It's just not a thought behind those eyes you know what i mean but i am on his side in terms of their relationship like i think he did the right thing made the right choice i think she was in the wrong the entire time so that's that on that couple yeah jeremy and laura so the thing about jeremy i couldn't even I could barely watch like some of the scenes when you know the scene where he came back home at 5 a.m and she was like she was like asking him about you know so what's the deal where were you what's going on and he was doing that sort of staccato like answer like i the plan was to go to the bar and then plans change and i went you know the way he was talking <sighs> triggering yeah that's the way people talk when they lie so immediately i was triggered because oh god yeah so triggering but anyways clearly i'm not a fan of jeremy and even the way he looks to be honest with the hat the stupid hat that's way too big for your dumb head that goes over your ears very triggering um next Clay and AD, okay? The black couple, the most important ones. So here's my thing. I love AD to death. Like, I think AD would fit so well into the friends group. She's so cute. She's down to earth. She's funny. She's like a regular black girl. And if you don't know what I mean by that, I'm not going to explain it. 
if you know you know okay but i am friends with a group of regular black girls we just get each other and so i think that i just love her like i just think that she would be a really great friend and i just think that she was kind of well blinded i mean clearly the name of the show love is blind right she was blinded because this boy clay was telling her the whole time the entire time i'm gonna cheat on you like he said it every every episode every date I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna cheat on you. <sighs> Frustrating. But hopefully, spoiler alert, hopefully she stands on business and does not get back with him even though he said no at the altar. Um, because I want better for AD. You know? Once you know better, you do better. And I, I know better. So I do better now and I want my black girls to do better too, you know? So I'm just about to make a salad for dinner because I'm too lazy to cook anything tonight. I had beef and broccoli last night and then I finished up the leftovers for lunch today.